Uh, hello everybody, this is Dirk again, and I'm going to cr produce another screencast in which I'm essentially il illustrating how to use software. And so the software that I want to demonstrate is once again the software called GSPICE UI, which stands for GNU Spice User Interface. And uh, this time around, I'm going to try a demo project that did not work out of the box. So SPICE stands for Simulation Program with Integrated Circuit Emphasis. And uh, the project that did not work out of the box is called Diode Zener onesch There were two things, two reasons for which this project did not work out of the box. One reason was the fact that the component which it used had a definition in a separate directory, which was not, skept not, not shipped with the demonstrations. So by all means, if you're going to uh, if you're going to uh, publish a demonstration um, which involves components that need to be defined in a separate directory, please include the directory that defines the components. The component in question is the Zener diode, which is named ZD1. So I've I've opened I've I've clicked on the little uh, little symbol up here in the on the upper left hand corner of the screen. Edit view a schematic. The schematic that I loaded names a Zener diode ZD1. And what the person wrote, curiously enough, was the Zener model works in NGSPICE but not GNUCAP. Last tested in 2015, February 22nd. So the thing is, yes, if you're going to publish a demonstration, please include the directory that you've linked your project to, which in this case defines the Zener diode. I've done that. And so I would like to do a DC sweep. Um, I would like to specify a range of input voltages applied to VCC. And uh, my DC sweep will be from 0 volts to, fi to, uh, to 25 volts. And the reason I'm specifying from 0 volts to 25 volts is the fact that I'm used to an old day and my increment will be 100 millivolts. I'm used to an old day back in the 1970s when Zener diodes typically had breakdown voltages of uh, of 20 of 12 to 24 volts approximately. In the 1970s, there weren't a lot of Zener diodes that went, went went to lower voltages and that could stabilize lower voltages as voltage references. And what I would like to um, test is what the output voltage is of the entire circuit. So I'm going to run the simulation. And when I run the simulation, the disappointing result that I get is that throughout the entire plot, the output voltage is equal to the input voltage. And when I create a graphical plot of the results, I get identical, I, I get the same results that the numbers already tell me. I can drag my output voltage into the oscilloscope simulator, and I get a straight line that goes from 0 volts to 25 volts. And so when I see this result, I appreciate the fact that the person who supplied the demo gave me a warning that the demo may not work, but I have to dig a little bit more deeply into maybe why it doesn't work. And I'm noticing that my components list doesn't include the component ZD1. It includes VCC and R1, but not ZD1. So it's as if ZD1 wasn't there. So basically, I'm I'm supplying a voltage from 0 to 25 volts to one end of resistor 1, and I'm measuring the voltage at the other end of the resistor 1 because there's a floating output there, and sure enough, they're identical, as if there were no current flowing through the, tra through the resistor. And what I discovered is that there's a simple fix for this problem. I can select the component ZD1 with by left clicking on it. It turns into a golden color and in my edit view in in my edit menu I have the edit command and there are some some basic parameters of the Zener diode that I can edit and one of them is the ZD1 specification. According to what I know about circuits, Zener diodes are diodes and so therefore they should be called D, not ZD or ZD, but D. So I'm going to edit this. I've clicked on it twice to make it editable. I'm going to change it to D1. And now that I've changed this thing's definition to D1, not only does my schematic indicate D1, but when I save this mo this modification back to the schematic file, um, and when I then refresh my view, 
Um, I notice that the component D1, or diode 1, magically appears as a possible component. So because the software is indicating that the component exists, it has a chance of simulating the component. And yes, in my settings I have ng-spice selected. I'm going to try GNUCAP later. But let's just try the ng-spice simulation of this circuit. And so the thing is, at the beginning of the plot the numbers are equal, but then towards the end of the plot they're not equal, which is what, this, what we're supposed to see. And when we produce a graphical output, we should see the following. We should see that the voltage increases. The output voltage increases with the input voltage, but then as it approaches the breakdown voltage of the Zener diode, the simulated output voltage doesn't go much further. It goes up to 5.033 volts. And that's exactly what a Zener diode is supposed to do. Now, I can go a little bit further with this. I can test a transient, in other words, a pulse. So my, tr my pulse will go from 0 to 100 milliseconds. That's the plotting range. My step increments are, are, are it's set to 100 milliseconds. I'm going to make this a finer plot. I'm going to make it a 1 s millisecond increments, so just so that I get smooth-looking results. And my, my, what I'm applying it to is voltage CC. And my, my setup for the pulse has a sinusoidal component at the top and a linearly defined component at the bottom. They both have to be correct. The amplitude of my sinusoidal component will be 0, 10 volts. The frequency of the sinusoid, 1 kilohertz is just fine. And the DC offset initial delay damping factor, I don't really need. Now, the linear pulse also needs to be defined correctly, and I'm also going to set it to 10 volts, from 0 to 10 volts. But it needs to have an initial delay. In fact, it sets the initial delay. F it will start 40 milliseconds into the plot. It will, it, will, it will take 10 milliseconds to rise to full amplitude, and it will sustain that amplitude for another 10 milliseconds, after which it will take 10 milliseconds to fall to zero. So this is my pulse it's and with its two components. And if I run the simulation, I hope I get no error message. I made an error. The signal source pulse rise time is greater than the period. I forgot to specify a period. I have to say that the linear pulse will last for 100 milliseconds to go with the fact that I'm plotting 100 milliseconds. Um, if the pulse is 10 milliseconds long, but it's supposed to repeat within less time than that, I get the error message. So let's try this little simulation. I get numbers. They don't mean much to me unless I plot them. So I plot them. So in my simulated oscilloscope view, I take the, the output voltage. I shouldn't have done that. I take the output voltage and I, I drag it into the plot. And sure enough, the voltage wants to go up to 10 or maybe even 20 volts if I add the two pulses together. But in reality, somehow it starts at minus 163 microvolts. It gets clipped just short of 5 volts, which means that the Zener diode cuts off the voltage peak before it reaches 5 volts, and that's precisely what we're supposed to get. So what looked like a complicated prog problem seems to have a lot, had a lot to do with this, this one component not being listed by the software as existing. Now, I'm just going to go a little bit further with this. I'm going to try this using GNUCAP as my simulation engine, because the description was that it works under ng-spice but not under GNUCAP. I switch simulation engines. I do not forget to run the simulation again. So I ran the simulation again, and this time the results appear in GNUCAP rather than in GSpice. And I notice that I have a bit of a, of, of a character garbage at the beginning of time. So I have, I have IME, but I've got, I've got Unicode characters before the IME that are not standard characters. I don't really know what that's going to do to my plot. I'm going to find out. I'm going to click on the plot. Hmm. Yeah, it's not telling me what I can plot. It's not recognizing what the plot should be. So we have we have this problem that G wave is not telling me what I can plot. Apparently, the fact that there is a, a, a character garbage here is enough to cause problems. And you know what? I'm going to edit this manually. 
I am going to go into my documents folder. I am going to go into spice and I'm going to go into SCH. I'm going to go into demos and I'm going to go to diode zener dash one and um, the one that says GNU cap dot t dot tr I believe that's the one that had the garbled the garbled uh, characters at the beginning I'm going to go into into a text editor and I'm going to edit out those garbled garbled characters I'm just going to edit out the the, the garbage that's there that's called ta that where time is supposed to be written in fact I su I think I'm supposed to have an, a hash mark in front of that I go save it's saved test results I close the plotting program I reload so I've reloaded it if I go to GNU cap uh, tells me that I don't have anything sorry let's do that again I edit the file spice uh, it's under documents documents spice schematic demos and here it is again zener diode open with k write i change this to asterisk i mean hash mark t hash mark hash mark t to be the correct format apparently if i tell it to reload the project it deletes my test results so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to plot this now having edited the text file and i'm noticing as a sudden improvement that i've got the parameter list on the left of what i can plot now this view has not been updated when i tried to update this view it simply deleted the temporary file but ah it's broken broken zener diode doesn't work so the guy that created the demonstration was in fact accurate if i tried to simulate this zener diode using GNU cap somehow i get a pulse that doesn't reach 26 picovolts even if i edit the results file and so i can i can just uh, i can basically accept that certain things don't work as they're supposed to work with ng spice it works i have to reload and rerun the, the simulation so I have nothing under GNU cap I have ng spice and if I plot it sure enough as the person predicted it works with ng spice okay so the the concept was correct but the simple naming of the of the component as having a ZD was not even compatible with my with my with my other program so that's my conclusion the Zener model works in ng-spice but not GNU-cap. It has now been tested in 2018 and we're the 9th of June. Thank you very much. Bye bye.